What's up? Welcome to Team Dirty Decks. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I took a break from the One Piece card game. It was around the time when they banned Whitebeard, and that was like the only deck I really wanted to play at the moment. So then, and then when they banned it, I was like, man, that feels bad. But then I started playing the past month or so, like month and a half, and it was because of this leader, Green Film Uta. Like, I really like the Uta character. I'm still convinced that Oda just wanted to make an auto music video. So then uh, I like the Uta character a lot. So I started playing this deck and then I realized I just, I like spamming a board and I like drawing a lot of cards. And that's what this deck does. So this leader's effect is you attach one Dawn to her and then you reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a film card, you get to draw the card. So in theory, it is attach one Dawn, draw one card on swing. Like in theory, it's sometimes you whiff. And that's a feels bad, but more so, more often than not, you should be drawing the card, right? Okay, so let's go ahead through the deck. That's the basic premise is you want to draw a lot of cards, play out a lot of cards. So I'm running four Ezo. This is a 2K counter. We only have one searchable 2K counter right now, but that changes in EBO1. But this is one of my favorite green 2K counters because on play, you get to rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. A lot of people play Borsalino. A lot of people play Rebecca. So just being able to rest them, like having that option feels good. And then our boss monster is Eustace Captain Kid. You play him for eight. I really like it. He synergizes really well with Green Film Uta. You can play the 10 drop Doflamingo, but the reason why I play Kid over Doflamingo is because Uta's leader effect you need one Dawn for. And then on play for him to attach the one Dawn to him, you need nine Dawn in total to do this. So uh, it just kind of synergizes. It lets you get your draw still. You tap him, play out an Uta blocker to defend him, and then you attach the one Dawn to him. It just feels very good on a 10 Dawn turn. But yeah, Kid's effect is that if you have a Dawn attached to him and he's rested, they have to swing into him. So if they don't have an out for him, like you're playing against Yellow and they don't have 8-drop Katakuri, he's probably going to stick on board because you probably played 7-drop blocker Luffy the turn before, so you have... A Luffy blocker, you probably played an Uda blocker off of the Luffy, and then you played another Uda blocker off of Captain Kid. So then now you're you're sitting pretty. You're definitely gonna defend him if they don't have a straight up out for him. And when Kid sticks on the board for just that one turn, you usually win the game after that. Because after that, you attach one Dawn to him every single turn. You're just swinging 9Ks every single turn, and you have a 7K blocker that can restand with Uda's effect every single turn. It just kind of snowballs out of control. So usually if your kid survives that one turn you can win the game but also i know that kid is kind of pricey so an alternative to him could be the nine drop zoro i know this card isn't too much cheaper i think this card's like 23 dollars, but then kid is 35 so like it's like 13 12 cheaper it's not the it's not the best alternative but if this card sticks similar situation if they don't out this card they are losing next turn like a triple swing 9k that you can also attach it onto if you want to so it could be like a triple 11k swing whatever you want to make it right so this is like a slightly cheaper alternative boss monster if you can't get the captain kids if you have zoro you can just use three zoro instead or if you're trying to go really budget <laughs> Odin, you know, double attack, 8k, you tap three to restand once. If he gets KO'd, you get to float Ezo. If on KO, you play a three cost Wano card from your deck. Bro, think about it. But personally, I just prefer the eight drop kid the most. But if anything, don't run Odin. Actually, just pick up some Doflamingos. This is a cheaper alternative. Just play three. 10 drop dofi okay and then next we just have the film package basically we run four three drop usopp four chopper which is just a 2k you never really play this card and then i run two trafalgar law this is just because if i see law early if you happen to go second you tap two dawn and then on your four dawn turn you can just play nami for two well you play nami for one and then you tap one to search and then you still have two dawn left over so you can like attach two dawn to leader draw a card and swing seven but if i don't see law on that very first turn i'm never playing this card so then that's why i only run it at two we run four nami because this card is busted if it actually gets a stick on the field on play and on swing tap one dawn search top three for a film card and then we run four brook brook on play play up to one film or straw hat crew that's a cost of three or less so that lets you put out nami that lets you put out an uta and then we run four seven drop blocker luffy this is the main reason why i play this deck this is why i love this deck uh you play seven Seven drop luffy for seven dawn and then for seven dawn you also get to play brook and then you also get to play nami or uta it feels very good on that turn getting to play out three bodies for seven dawn feels very good but in a worst case scenario or if you already have three bodies on board you can also just go luffy into zoro 
it's still pretty good. Zoro, just a four drop film vanilla. And then I run one Bartolomeo that you do not need to run. He's a pricey card. Like you don't need to run this card. I literally just run him because I want to restand. Like as soon as you establish a blocker Luffy, I'm swinging with it every single turn after that if I can. So sometimes you don't have enough extra events because these I'm Invincible and Backlight are really good events that you want to use also. So if you don't draw into a bunch of extra events, then you can't use Uda's effect to restand your seven drop blocker Luffy. So sometimes I'd rather just tap two Dawn to play Bartolomeo to restand him instead of dropping like more backlights and everything like that. So that's the reason why I run one Bartolomeo because it's also kind of rare that I'm going to play him anyways. So you definitely don't need him. Like instead of Bartolomeo, you could just run an extra backlight or I'm invincible so that you can proc Uda's leader effect. More. I mean, not leader effect. You can proc Uda's effect more. And then I run two Mihawk. There's a lot of people who run four Mihawk. Like they'd rather run Mihawk over Izo, but I like the resting effect more. I run two Mihawk because it's a similar situation as Law. Like I do want more 2Ks. I want at least... 10 2ks in the deck just to be able to counter out but miha's effect is on play you get to play up to one four cost or lower um you know the kingdom that that part doesn't matter but you get to play one four cost slash character and brook is a slash character so the idea is if you go first on your three dawn turn if you happen to have mihawk brook and nami in your hand you can tap three for mihawk plays out brook in rest mode and then you play out nami and that's really the only time that I want to do that play. So it's more so like if I see this combination of cards early and I went first, then I'll play it out. It feels good in that situation. Uh, but then after that, it doesn't feel that good for me personally. Because especially if it's later in the game, they're just going to pop your Nami with some effect and then they're going to swing into your book and you're going to have to give it up. So then you tapped three Dawn, you lost a 2K out of your hand and you lost both of these cards, which just it feels bad. And then for the film events, we run three Backlight. This card is broken. It rests up to one of your opponent's five costs or lower characters. So it rests basically every blocker, like it rests Sabo, Borsalino, like all those blockers. And then also it can KO up to one opponent's characters that's a five cost or less that is rested so if they swung at you with like i don't know if, uh, not many people play this right now but if they swing like with the five drop rush unblockable luffy you can just ko you don't even need to swing into it you can just ko it having the ability to just ko a five cost or less is huge because most effects only affect four cost or lower characters so backlight very good card new genesis broken best searcher in the game now now this isn't the most broken deck in the game but this searcher is snapped so if your leader is uda they have the leader locket the reason why it's so broken is because of this last part of the effect then set up to one rested dawn is active so you get to search the top three literally for free the only downside to this card is that you can't find a new genesis off of new genesis so if you're cert if you were digging for a specific card like you were digging for i'm invincible and then you just you didn't find i'm invincible you instead found another new genesis man think about how crazy you'd be if you could just grab new genesis and then be like let's dig into another three cards and see if we can find i'm invincible and then last we run three i'm invincible uh set up to one of your leader uda is active this allows you to go for game like this is often how i'll finish a game if i don't have a crazy board established because they've been popping my board the entire time this ends up being your win condition like in situations where they've been popping your entire board but they didn't establish a big board themselves like they only have one blocker on board you just backlight tap the blocker go nine nine at leader with i'm invincible now it is hilarious i wouldn't recommend doing this but if your opponent happens to be like really low hand size but they have like two life something like that you can go Six, 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 six. Like you could attach one Don to leader, swing, I'm invincible, swing six, I'm invincible, swing six, I'm invincible. Like that, theoretically, that's possible. And it won somebody a game because somebody had zero cards in hand and two life. <laughs> and that ended up winning the game because they just did four 6K swings, which was pretty funny. It's just a possibility. I'm just saying. But yeah, that is the green film deck. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get some games in. Oh, nice. We got yellow Katakuri. Oh, uh, I think I go second here. We will keep because we drew into I'm Invincible and Nami. Draw Dawn. We didn't get... We didn't get Law, though. We didn't get Film Law, so we can't just, like, freebie get out Nami. We definitely take this here. Oh, they moved it to the bottom, and then I still got the new Genesis. Kind of cracked. Seven drop. Oh, Oh, looking for 7-drop. Looking for a 7-drop Luffy. 
We're going to swing five. They counter out for some reason. I would just take it. Use card action. Seven drop Luffy. Let's go. We get there. Okay. And then if they Godatsu, they don't Godatsu. Let's. Oh my goodness. We're, we are popping off. Kiku Nojo? Who cares? Oh, and we got Kid. Bro, this hand is cracked. A six. We got Brook. Do I just play the Brook now? That's the question. We got six done. Brook into Usopp. Yeah, I think we just go Brook into Usopp here. We swing five first. Use card action. Ooh. Do I get another seven Luffy? Or do I new Genesis? For, what am I new genesis for, right? That's the question. It's like, I, I want the seven drop Luffy. So that we just do this. Go five at lead. And then we draw the Uta. And then we Brook into Usopp. Pass. We don't need a blocker necessarily yet. Now, uh, if they swing at Nami, we're chilling. Because Nami's done her job now right she's gotten us on play and we've swung with her so she's gotten us like two searches we need to use the rest of these cards on like uh defending our kid later when we play kid on our tendon turn so yeah it's like that's fine seven dawn russian l i'll just take this one i could have countered out yeah you're fine you're fine bubby you can have that one. Let's go five here. Bro, taking three years. Okay, and then attach one Dawn. Draw a card. And then do seven drop Luffy into... Where are you? Do I only have one Uda blocker? I'll play this. Because he's going to swing into these guys for sure. And then I block 2k counter here. Or maybe I take. I have so many cards in hand. That's fine. Huh, a 5 at it. I think we can give up a 1k. So that they have to swing into it again. Yeah, there it is. There it is, the freebie. Yeah, you got it. You got it, bubby. Draw a card, draw a dawn. Okay, nice through, nice through. So, I get rid of this backlight for sure. So, we're going to swing six here. Because that, what is it called? Thunderbolt is still a threat. Swing seven lead. Attach dawn. Boom, draw a card. Busted. Absolutely busted. They're down to two life now. We play eight drop kid. Action, rest, and then play the three drop Usa. Attach Dawn to Kid. End turn, use card action. Drop back light, restand Luffy. And then we pass. No blocks, we will counter out. <laughs> and then if they don't have Katakuri here, we win. If they have Katakuri here, we're, we're screwed. But I think because they're swinging just this and not donning up i'm assuming they have 10 drop mom and they don't have katakuri yeah so they're gonna get rid of the zero cost play that and we now we win oh uh, yeah i think we attach seven here one 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 yeah and then we play another seven drop luffy we don't even need to play anything because we already have a board so Go seven at leader. We attach one down here, one down here, one down here. Play seven drop Luffy. Don't even need to play another card. We just keep it as counter power. Brulee, fine. That's fine with me. I'm not planning on finishing this turn, so. We go nine, probably blocks. And then we go six, draw the card. And then we go seven. He takes. And then um, we play another seven drop Luffy. Q 
cancel that, and then we end turn, use card action, drop and I'm invincible, re-stand Luffy, and then we pass. And then again, if they don't have Katakuri here, we for sure, like it's it's solidified. We definitely win because we have I'm invincible next turn. Uh, we get rid of Usopp first. Get rid of Brook. Use our blocker. And then what have you, sir? What is it, another 10 drop? Mom, since you're not swinging immediately, like you're not attaching Dawn or anything, I'm assuming another 10, Mom. If you 10 Mom here, you die, though, I think. Because of double, I mean, like we get two 9Ks. 9K. And then I have an Ezo to like rest a blocker. I think it's pretty much... Especially because, yeah, you didn't do that, so it's like... And then now, yeah, you have nothing else to swing. Yeah, you just got a blocker. Oh, they instantly... Whoa. <laughs> they instantly disconnected. I didn't even... Whoa, what the heck? They were like, I'm done with this game. I've had enough. Yeah, see, look, as I said, if you establish a kid and it survives, you pretty much win. I think basically every single game that I've played where kid survives at least one turn, I've won every single one of those games. But if you're playing against black, it's probably getting popped. Like that's just what's gonna happen. I even tried to bait it out one time. Like there was a time where I was playing, I played seven drop Luffy, Brook, Nami. They cleared my entire board. And I was like, crap, okay. Seven drop again, seven drop Luffy, Brook, Uta blocker. They cleared my entire board. And I was like, okay, surely, they don't have anything to clear this eight drop kid. They don't have as big of a board. I still have some counter power in hand. I play eight drop kid on my third turn, rest it, do my Uda leader swing and all that. Play an Uda blocker. They ice age, they clear my eight drop kid. And I was like, I'm sorry, this, this Sakazuki player is just better than me. I don't know. I, they, they're literally better. They drew the nuts. It looks like we are against Raiju. We have seven drop and Brook and Uda in our hand, but we don't have we don't have a Nami. I don't want to like put it back into the deck though and then not have like I need to see seven drop blockers against this deck. Oh, there's the Nami. Actually, we're cracked. We're actually better. <laughs> oh yeah, you draw some cards. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we swing five. Nice to nice to deploy. Use card action. Uh Usopp, I guess. Darn. Okay, so we're not gonna have eight drop kid. A drop kid isn't as good in this matchup anyways because they can just minus it to six. They can just play the seven drop rusher. And it feels kind of bad anyways. So uh, we'll give up a 1k right here. And then I take this one. Oh my goodness, bruv. Okay, we're we're defended. We are defended right now. We take this one. Now we don't take any more swings after this. Okay. Brook into Uta. Yeah. So we go five alive, use card action. Uh, backlight looking kind of appealing right now. Backlight's looking kind of appealing right now. <laughs> we do that and then just go 5k. We can use that to clear a five drop, which is pretty good. Oh, uh, then we tap four. For Brook into, yeah. We do this, draw the card. And then we go Brook into Uta, and then we pass. Uh, maybe I, no, nah, I leave it. I, I want the backlight. We leave Nami because Nami's also a blocker now. Yep, nice block. Nice block, Nami. I don't know if you knew this. Nami's actually a blocker. It, it's a secret hidden passive on their card. Uh, I get... I get... Yeah, because if they don't play anything, we're chilling. Yeah. Okay. Where is my chopper? Boom. Boom. Feels good. I was like, I know I have two 2Ks in this hand. My hand is kind of big. It's kind of hard to see everything in there. But we stay at one life. Yeah, we go five at lead. They take, boom, we don't draw, <laughs> unlucky, unlucky. Then we go 
7 drop into Uta, and then we pass. Cancel, cancel. We don't need to restand Brook. We're not giving up backlight for Brook. What do you think this is? Yep, that's a blocker also. See, look. Hidden, all the film cards have a hidden effect called blocker. <laughs> you spam out boards and then they become blockers after you swing with them. It's crazy. We swing. If we draw into a brook, we're chilling. We'll just do this. And then this leader swing, if they just, if they just swing at us, free block. I just wait usually until the last swing before I do it. So yeah, this is for four. They can make it an eight. I don't have... Oh, I do have a 2k. Yeah, we just block here. And... Do I want to play another Uda blocker or a Zoro? I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we just... I think I play Zoro off of Luffy next turn. Oh, or I play Uda. <laughs> or I play Uda. And... Seven, so I'm going to have two Dawn left over. I could also backlight here and then backlight this. Maybe that's what we do. Six, draw a card. We new Genesis. Yo, that I'm Invincible. Might need a 2k though. Yeah, dang it. I really want that I'm Invincible. I think I'm just going to grab a 2k right now. And then uh, we can use this for that. Okay, so swing seven. They probably take here. Backlights, we have one less swing to deal with. And then we tap this for Luffy. And then play Zoro. Oh, but I have to drop the backlight. Oh, I'm dumb. I can't clear this. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. We'll use the card action. We'll backlight, restand. Now we have three blockers. There is no shot. I feel like they're going for Judge. Oh, never mind. They're not going for Judge play. Hmm. And then I just Luffy into Uda next turn. Now I got a bunch of 2Ks in my hand. Swing 7. Huh. Do I just see what the last card is? Oh, it's a new Genesis. Darn. Maybe we don't. I'm just going because I can search new Genesis so I can grab anything. Off of Uda Blocker. Huh. Yeah, we have to keep this here. I think I lose next turn. So. Draw a card. We're going to look for I'm Invincible now. We don't get it. Um. Yeah, first let's just see what happens here. Let's do this. Fair, fair. So if we do this, we'll still have... We'll still have access to do... The Luffy play. So then... All three of these swings we need to go through. I could swing with this. Three Dawn... That make it seven, eight, nine. So I go nine, nine after that. Let's see. And then, uh, hmm. I'm banking that they don't have two Ks in hand. And then we just go for it here. Because we die next turn, so we just go ten. And there it is. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, because I was like, instead of I could have like went the safe route, played this, but I think I lose. Oh, we are against Gecko Moria. So we're going to go ahead and go first. Wow, that hand is pretty good. Besides like no new Genesis, very good hand. Uh, we could play Usopp, but I think we'll just guarantee. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. We lose out on kid. Okay, but there's a kid in life right here as well. So it's fine. We'll draw up one of these. Take. Draw card, draw Dawn. Wow, we still get the kid. Let's go. Four into three. 
Let's see what we get first. Oh, cracked. Oh, I'm so good at this game, bro. It's crazy. Play Nami, use card action, and we grab ourselves another Brook, I think. Because, yeah, now we can Brook into Uta. Yeah, now we can, like, Brook into Uta next turn because we're... Oh, wait, no. We can just... I forgot. We're on the first turn curve, so we actually get to play our 7-cost Luffy next turn. You think I'm not going to take that? And then Absalom. Yeah. Do I even have a 2k in my hand? I don't have a 2k in my hand. We take. Draw Dawn. Swing 5. Uh... I'll swing 5 here for right now. Usually I don't like swinging at the board. And we'll new Genesis. We'll take a peek. Uh, I'd rather have Zoro over those cards right now. And then we will boom into this, into, into Usopp. And then we'll pass. I think that we defend here first. They're about to Gecko Moria, so I think that there's going to go five. So it's like I have to deal with three 5k swings, or I only have to deal with two technically because I block one. Huh. So they're going to Ice Age instead here. I just block that. Because they're not going to get up Moria now. No blocks. Yeah, we'll just do this. No blocks. Uh, Usopp. And then they brought Bluchi to clear both of those. That is fine. Draw a card. Draw Dawn. We just go here. He takes. And then he'll probably take this one as well. So we'll be at two life, and then we eight drop kid, action rest, play out this, attach it on here, pass, use card action, boom, boom. We restand, and then we pray to the Lord in heavens above that he does not have an Ice Age in hand. <laughs> Do they play four Ice Age? I think Gecko Moria plays five, four Ice Age. They probably have Ice Age. But they can't get rid of both the Luffy blocker and the Captain Kid. So we're in a really weird spot right now. They definitely have been doing a number on us. Maybe I should have just went down to zero life and then kept the two cards so I could defend my kid better. That's, that probably. Yeah, great eruption. You're better. You're just better at the game. So he's a six cost right now. Ice Age. Take him down to a one cost. Oh, now he's a four cost. And then Hell Meppo. Home up into Absalom. Yeah, you're good. But now they only have a 6k swing and a 5k swing. So. Y'all counter out with Brook. Y'all counter. And they have no blockers on board. Y'all counter with Brook and then I'll block the. Oh, wait, no. I take this one. And then I block. Draw a card, draw a Dawn. Now, do we have the nuts here? Do we believe in ourselves? <laughs> do we believe in ourselves? Okay, well, first we got to check. Okay, we're not. It's not happening. Unless they take this, the dream is dead. Okay, they did not take it, so the dream is dead. Seven cost into Uta. I'd only have one Dawn. You guys have to hope that he doesn't play a blocker. Because I have to have him at one life, right? I don't think there's a way that I win if he's at uh, two life. So, we're going to go for this. We're in aggro deck. So, we're going to do that. Play out seven cost Luffy. Play out Uda. And then we'll pass. Use card action. Drop this. Restand. Cancel. I wish I could have played Bartolomeo instead. So we have four blocks, one card in life. They have a lot of swings. Let's just see what it is. Okay, so it's a 2k. Seven Dawn still.
And then I'm keeping this 2k to like defend a Luffy swing. Potentially. See so yeah, how we do this? We block with Uta. And then I can't do that play yet. Because he still has Helm Meppo. Mm. I kind of messed up by like countering out so early. And then we take the free block. And then I have to block right there. He's got three cards in hand. Do we get the nuts? That is the question. Because I think... Oh, we got a backlight. Nice. We win. We get there. They always have dead cards in hand. Knew it. I swung nine first because I was pretty sure that they didn't have like two 2Ks and a 1K. Like the in black, their downfall is that they have a lot of cards like Great Eruption, Ice Age. Like usually if they have Great Eruption, they're going to use it. But sometimes they'll save like in that situation, Great Eruption probably off the table. But they potentially have Ice Age in their hand. They have Rob Lucci's. Like these have a lot of no counter cards like Gecko Moria's and all that. So I was like, one of those cards is dead is what I was thinking. And then they, the, uh, that means that the other two, max was two 2Ks. So then I was like, swinging 9K is safe. Like, they have to take this. But I could have gone 100% guaranteed, where it's like, even if they're, like, all three of their hands were 2Ks. So it'd be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So you swing 11 first. So I just put two more Dawn on. I go 5, 5. So then it'd be 11, 12, I think are better numbers. Like, you're not 100% guaranteed. But 11, 12, if you're assuming that one of the cards is a 1K or one of the cards is dead, like you still still win, right? But I think 5-5 five, five is probably a better split, but I'm pretty sure that they don't have like 2Ks in hand. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. That is Uta. We actually won every single game today. That was crazy. Green Film Uta is actually a pretty strong deck still. And the only thing that you kind of struggle with is like the insane amount of board removal that Black has, but... Luckily, one of your worst matchups, Purple Luffy, you don't really see Purple Luffy anymore. Purple Luffy, I struggled with more because they have the four drop law. And that four drop law is brutal against this deck because the whole idea is to have like 10 cards in your hand at all times. And then they just keep dropping four drop laws on you. And it feels it feels really bad. I'm not going to lie because just them getting to pick two cards out of your hand every single turn until you're down to like five or four and you can't defend your kid anymore or your life that just that kind of sucks but luckily purple luffy isn't really in the meta right now so all you really have to worry about right now is black that can remove your entire board and they also kind of have to see the nuts to clear your entire board multiple times but yes thank you very much everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next video